Hey, I'm Brandon, joined here by my buddy Pat. Today we are checking out the Revit GTR Air 3 jacket, coming in at 230 bucks. It's only up about 10 bucks from the previous model, which is the GTR 2 that came out uh, back in 2018, back in the summer. And I would say if you like the GTR Air 2, this is going to be a great option for you as well. It's really just more of a facelift, not dramatically changed. We do have some new materials like the 3D mesh at the chest. We've got some 300 denier polyhexagonal pattern materials, but again, Again, it's a bit more of a facelift, so if you like the DNA of the GTR2, uh, I think you're going to be very well pleased with this one. Before we get going, though, let's talk about the overall fit. I've got Pat here and an XL, and his measurements, he's about 6 feet tall, 220 pounds with a 44-inch chest, and he's currently wearing that XL. If you reference that sizing chart, that matches up perfectly with his measurements, but I will say it's a bit more on the snug side of the spectrum, right? Revit is a bit more on the Euro side, um, but not as Euro as some of the other brands out there, right? Meaning it's not as snug as some of the options uh, that we see from, from other brands out there. But nice and snug, and I will note that it is very snug in the forearms as well for Pat here. So if you've got larger forearms, if you're in the gym a lot, that is something to keep in mind there. The biceps, not too snug in that particular area, but definitely snug right there in that forearm area. Of course, at 230 bucks, this will ship to you for free. And as always, we do have our price match policy in place that is there to ensure that you're getting the best deal around. Now, starting right here up at the collar, we've got a little bit of neoprene lined around that collar. It is very comfortable, very straightforward. And then we've got a combination of 600 denier poly uh, with this new 3D mesh combined in there as well. This is geared towards the summer riding months. Maximum airflow with this bad boy, no doubt about it. CE level one protection at the shoulder. You're also going to get that at the elbow that is their c smart armor it is very malleable it moves very well with the body and it's a good level of protection so you're getting that at the shoulder and as we work our way down the arm you're going to get that the elbow as well a little bit more of that 3d mesh and this is that 300 denier kind of hexagonal pattern that we're seeing on the jacket nothing over the top or anything like that just some styling cues some style updates uh, with this particular jacket a little bit of adjustability right there at the bicep as well again ce level one armor right there at the back of the elbow more mesh on the inside of the jacket. One thing I wish they would change is right here. I'm not a big fan of just snaps right here at the bottom of the wrist. I'd uh, prefer some accordion perhaps or maybe uh, some Velcro just so I can cinch it down exactly where I want to. This has got two spots and sometimes it just doesn't line up appropriately depending on the gloves you're trying to utilize. So bang, go ahead and put that down for me, sir. So on the next iteration, personally, that'd be something I would like to see updated. 3D mesh right here on the chest and it just feels a little bit more substantial than the previous model here but it's not restricting any airflow or anything like that, of course. And then you've got two stash pockets on either side of the jacket, as well as some Velcro adjustments at the waistline. Pat, go ahead and face that direction for me, sir. Strike that riding position, thank you much. Nothing going on here at the shoulders, more of that hexagonal kind of pattern. We've got little accents here. And speaking of these accents, this jacket does come in a variety of different colors. I think there's four color options total, if I'm not mistaken on that. And as I mentioned before, right here at the waistline, you do have the ability to pull that in, pull in that excess material if you need to do so. Pat, go and face the back for me, sir. More 3D mesh at the top of the back and then more of that looser, uh, just kind of that softer, looser weave mesh there towards the back. Um, and then a slight drop seat as well as a touch of reflectivity built in. No back detector is included. However, it's very easy to add one. I'd highly recommend it. And all of Revit's jackets, they're gonna tell you what size that you actually need depending on the size jacket that you decide to purchase. It's gonna be RV-05 or 04 or 06, depending on that size. So make sure you're paying attention to that. They will detail that uh, on the product page there. Pat, go ahead and face the front for me, sir. Take a quick look here on the inside. Very straightforward on the inside. Just more of that mesh. We've got some stash pockets. We've got some belt loops at the bottom. And then we also have a short connection zipper. Pat, you can go ahead and close that up. If you're looking for a bit more versatility, there is the Tornado. That's a great option. It's, uh, it's gonna give you some waterproof capabilities as well as a thermal in there, but it has a mesh main chassis. So if you're looking for that versatility, you could step it up into the Tornado. If you want something that's a little bit more subdued, maybe a little bit uh, more economically priced, you could check out the Eclipse. Uh, that's another option within their line. They are using older armor in that one, and it feels a bit more basic in comparison to the GTR Air 3. So just keep that in mind. This one feels a bit more substantial and a bit more stout in comparison to that Eclipse there. But you do have 
options within their line that are going to give you great versatility if you need it or a bit more uh, money back in your wallet if that's what you're looking for as well. Now, if you're looking for more details, click that info button. That'll take you over to the product page. And as always, if you have any questions about this jacket or any other options you might be looking at, please don't hesitate to reach out to our CS team. They're all riders, more than happy to get you pointing in the right direction. Thanks for hanging out with Pat and I and taking a closer look at the Revit GTR Air 3 jacket. I'm Brandon. Keep it pinned.